The purpose of this short video is to help you f discover how to see the comments that I give you when I use the Track Changes tool. It may be that when you open the document that I send you, that it just looks like a regular document, such as this one here that I'm showing from Denise. Um, there are no comments, there are no marks, there's nothing here, and yet you think, he said he sent me feedback. Um, the secret lies when you look in the review tab. Often when you open things, you're at the home tab over here on the left. But if you click on the review tab, which is about five tabs over, um, that's where the track changes tool is marked. And if it is highlighted in orange, that means it's active. If it's not highlighted, that means it's not on. And one way to see the comments is to just click on and then click off of that. Another way, because if you open it up and you don't see any comments, that means it's showing the final copy or maybe the original copy of what you sent me. And you just go into this little pull down menu right below the review tab and you choose final showing markup. And then you'll be able to see the comments that I've posted if I've typed anything in, such, here, such as here I said cite authors, um, any kind of little comments like that that I've put in or things that I've typed directly into your um, document, you will be able to see. Now sometimes it's easy to miss some comments or some editing that I've done. And the easiest way to make sure you don't miss anything is to use these arrows here that say next or previous. You can look just at the comment boxes, the comment bubbles that I put in, but if you use this little um, changes area in the tab over here, you can go from comment to um, things actually typed in. This is a good way to make sure that you don't miss any little changes, because several of you have missed changes where, for example, you used a period instead of a comma or a semicolon instead of colon or vice versa. And I've made changes like that on some of your documents, but you haven't noticed them, and so then you resubmit them with the same error. So if I click the next arrow, you'll notice it takes me down to the next thing that I've highlighted. And then I click the next arrow again, it takes me down to the next comment, then to the next comment, and so on. Now I don't have many, many actual type many typed comments within the narrative on this particular document, otherwise you would be seeing more things inside the narrative. Most of what I have here on this document are comment boxes off to the right. But that's how you see those things. It's even possible if I have typed a suggested change that you can just click on this accept box and it will actually accept that change and then you don't have to type in the change yourself. Um, because I've already typed in the suggested edit for you. Alright, that should help you with your um, feedback that you get from me, make sh making sure that you understand what it is I'm saying and how to read it and see it. All the best. Let me know if you have any questions.